Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Napoleon Total War here today on the channel. We're back with episode 2 of my Darth modded campaign as the French Empire. We're playing as Napoleon. Here today we have a massive battle. We have the Iron Marshal Davu himself against Prince Louis uh, Ferdinand of Prussia who has attacked us. So, first up, I think we need to retreat from this river crossing position. I think an open field battle is probably going to make this fight easier for this one. But it's make or break. This is our only army in northern Germany. And if we lose Davu, which we can do, a famed general and this army, northern Germany and essentially northern France, northeast France, will be open to a Prussian assault. So here today we have the Battle of Magdeburg in 1805. We have a fight against a Prussian prince. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Let me know in the comments feedback and suggestions for the series and we'd like me to expand and conquer. We're at peace with the Austrians for now after taking a couple territory in the last episode against them. But now we're dealing with the Prussians. So we have four pieces of artillery. We do outnumber number them cavalry-wise with six. And our infantry we are outnumbered. So this is going to be a tough one. I've got a pretty ambitious and audacious plan uh, here with General Davout. I think... Look, we've got two options with this fight. They have artillery supremacy. So we can't sit back and rely on our artillery. They have infantry supremacy. So <laughs> head to head, our artillery over and an infantry over a long time is going to lose. I think what we need to do is have a a mad frontal cavalry charge. I kind of wish that Yoki Mira was the commander of this battle because this is sort of more up his alley. So, General Davu is going to be commanding this one, the Iron Marshal, against the nephew of King Frederick, who died in the Battle of Sarfield in the Napoleon Wars. But we've got to watch out for Prussia. Although their generals are old and their tactics predictable, their units, cavalry and infantry, are on par to our own. So, this is make or break. We've only got four stacks at this moment in this campaign. Michel Ney is currently defending Paris, and if any British forces come, Davu is up here with Bernadotte near Hanover. And uh, Yoki Mira, uh, Mersenne, and Napoleon are uh, down in Bavaria. So we'll try and charge this one, close the distance as best we can. It is raining, so that's fortunate. But we've got to neutralize the guns and also try and capture, capture and hit and catch those infantry in transition. But the cavalry is going in. Charge! My brave cavalry. There we go. Oh, good charge. Well, none of them have managed to form square. But the French cavalry has clashed upon the Prussian front line like water on rock. And some of them are in a retreat. We are outnumbered by about 200. We might... The thing is right, what do we do? I think we have to sit them in melee just to start grinding out infantry. The thing is they sent this... Like this is one of the best... This is probably the best army that Prussia has to offer. We can get cavalry at a later date. I think we keep them in. We don't want to cycle charge. We'll just keep them in there and just allow them to do keep getting casualties. Because now our cannons are firing at them. It's an ambitious, it's an audacious tactic. But it seems to be working. So we are playing on Darth Mod 2.6. I'll put in the description below if you guys would like to download and play along with me. Let me know in the comments. We'd like me to expand and conquer. We want to defeat our coalition enemies. Austria, Prussia, Russia and Britain. Haven't dealt with Britain too much just yet. We've had a couple wars with Austria, but we are at peace with them currently. Our There's going to be a lot ready, of sir. peace, uh, just sort of tactical pieces back and forth against all the powers. We're getting charged a little bit here by their own cavalry. Haven't fought any Russian forces just yet. But they seem to be pushing up, which is 
really cool. And they seem to be hanging out and defending their allies in Vienna. So, my infantry may have gone a little bit closer. There's any sort of form up. We've managed to completely shatter the organization of the Prussian forces there. <laughs> but if we can kill Prince Louis Ferdinand of Prussia, nephew of King Frederick, like he died in the Battle of Saalfield, that'll be good. Our cavalry will just let them run wild continually. They did manage to actually go around the stakes that have been driven down there. So, their artillery is in a full retreat. Phew! It's risky doing that, but it was worth it. Our cavalry is going to be decimated, but this is how it is. We're still at war with Saxony as well. So, once we win this in Magdeburg, Hanover will be spare for once more. We might even be able to make a push and a press on Berlin and Brandenburg itself. But we did make peace with the Austrians after we took Venice and gave it back to them for trade. So that will buy us some turns of peace. I may be even open to giving Hanover to Britain. Essentially back to Britain, because not too long ago, King George III actually owned Hanover. Because you sort of forget that <laughs> now the monarchy in England isn't technically Windsor, is it? They're more ethnically German. But we're dealing with the Prussian cavalry. The thing is, like, we've got, like, a really well overall balanced army. Our infantry's great. Our cavalry as well. But same with the Prussians and Austrians. There's not too much of a difference. The Russians tend to have more numerical numbers per unit. But anyway, we've managed to kill Louis... Ferdinand, Prince of Prussia. The balance of power has now swung massively in our favour. 75 to their 25. <laughs> but our maddening mass cavalry charge seems to be working. Or did work. Brave cavalry. You were sacrificed for the greater good. Yeah, but like, there's not really, like... I guess you could flank, but I think that was the best play for us. We neutralized the artillery, and most of their forces actually ran because they got caught flat-footed. We're playing on a hard campaign, a very hard battle, because that's what Napoleon Darth Mod is balanced to. There seems to be only two, three more units. Our men are running, Holding. Sir. Just make sure you hit your targets, lads. Reform that up because they're moving away now. We might even be able to get them behind that wall eventually. But maybe move up here and get that Jaeger infantry. Second Grenadier Regiment there. Four units are reforming here against our four. Which we've got to be careful of. Hit that fourth regiment. Okay, they've actually managed to reorganize slightly. The problem is it's pouring down with rain. So both sides aren't going to be at 
peak efficiency with their mus musket powder wet. Yeah, they're hitting us there good, so maybe get behind that short wall if we can. Okay, they're now retreating. Right, swing back around behind them because they're still holding for now. But the Iron Marshal, Marshal Davout, has won a massive victory here today. Alright, let's speed things up. So they're now shooting over this half wall. With some nice protective cover. And a few ciliars. Just need to finish off the second Grenadier Regiment of Prussia. Which we've completely surrounded now. Maybe send the cavalry further back here. We've managed to not lose all of them. So we're going to be able to replenish three out of the five or six. A glorious victory, sir. But if we're lucky, we've destroyed this full Prussian host. 160 only left in that. Far out. They are getting surrounded by four units. And they're still holding on. No, there they go. I was going to say. Oh, let's get my artillery to go into this because now mine can fire unopposed. But so far, I've been really impressed to, oh, upon the AI on Darth One. There's a unit here. Come on. We'll send in double. I do recommend it if you haven't played it in quite some time. It's a lot, the battles are a lot more enjoyable than Empire. But it looks like the Prussian host is now in a full retreat. Yep, we have victory. Let's speed things up and run them down. All right, let's end that one there. Close victory, I know, crikey. Let's run through the casualties sustained and inflicted. So we lost, so the Prussians lost 3.2. We lost 2,000. But we've won a glorious victory. And we've managed to kill the Prussian prince. Let's have a look at the casualties sustained. Kills. Wow. Couple hundred there. And for the lancers, topping. So it looks like another army from Berlin has now come out. Which is fine. But we're going to be sort of role-playing in this campaign with the various generals. We want to send them towards the various locations where we head, end up. Like, we want to sort of send Masinna and Mora to Italy while Bernadotte sort of heads towards Sweden. Now, did Prussia want pre uh, peace after killing one of Frederick Wil Wilhelm's relatives. Potentially not. There's not even a general in this army, only in the reinforcing one. Uh, we might have to retreat for now. And wait for more reinforcements. But we've managed to win the battle for Magdeburg. While... Massena and Napoleon uh, head north to Berlin. Okay. So the Prussians have moved up another army at the top of the turn. Bernadotte is in Hanover, but he should be okay. We'll push out and hit. Giebhard Lieberich von Blitzler. Von Blitzler. I think that's how you say it. We'll try and get rid of him because he's a quite notable and prominent Prussian commander. Beating Napoleon in Leipzig and Waterloo. 
So if we can get rid of him, that would be ideal. If we keep, we need to. Yeah, if we attack him again with Davu, there might be Swedish reinforcements. We've got to watch out for that. Uh, nicknamed Marshal Forward by his soldiers because of his aggressive approach to war, which makes sense. Oh no, he's dead. We got rid of him. <laughs> he pushed so hard into Hanover. That's quite funny. But Davu is becoming. So far in this campaign, the most renowned and greatest marshal for Napoleon. So Saxony's moved up an army there. Napoleon probably should push to Berlin eventually, but we might actually stop off here in Magdeburg. It's that Saxon army, which is annoying. We'll move up. Masina to sort of cover. Uh, Joachim Mirach can stay in uh, Munich just in case the Austrians really declare war upon me because I do not trust my old enemy. Masina with a full stack will build up my navy big enough, big enough to intercept any British fleet that comes over, but. Yeah, I'm sort of umming and ahhing because a full stack is fine to defend France and my central core territories, but we might need to split it in half depending on how this war goes in the east. Moving more spies and agents eastward where we can. Prussia is moving some forces. Oh, we've got an opportunity to intercept some units. We'll auto resolve that. Oh, far, we lost a lot there. I was wondering why that was so. Yeah, that one's better. Maybe it was friendly fire or something crazy. Anyway, we have three full stacks up in the north here now. We might be able to take Berlin if we're lucky. Nation joins your enemies, Austria. So we're back, unfortunately, at war with Austria. That's a shame. Oh, so even if you give territory, they don't seem to like hold that alliance for too long. Because it's a little bit cheaty, giving territory back for peace and forcing it. It's a little bit gamey, I guess. Alright, so I guess we want to try and get to a position where we can just keep on beating the Prussians, like, just beat them into submission. The Russians have moved some forces into Bavaria, which isn't good. Because they're so far away, but they're still actively trying to bring down Napoleon. Okay, so we're sieging out Berlin now. What are the odds? Uh, there's no notable commander inside, just the garrison force. And Davu is coming. Yeah, we outnumber them massively. So let's just order resolve that one. Uh, like the king isn't in the field. But Napoleon Bonaparte in the siege for Brandenburg and Berlin. We've managed to take the Prussian capital and the heart of Prussia. Now do they want peace straight away for that? They've accepted. After losing the crown prince Louis. The nephew of King Frederick. And now Berlin burns. They want peace. So now we can keep an army here in Berlin and then double back down to Austria. We might even be able to take Saxony here. That might be actually a really good sort of choke point. We eventually probably want to try and hold that in Stettin. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. So there's a, a decent sized army in there. I think Napoleon can... He just needs to replenish a bit. That's the only thing. But he is... He's actually not the best commander at the moment. It's actually Dou, because he's been playing a lot of the wars. So, yeah, why can't we attack? I guess, yeah, Davu can't get there. That's annoying. We're even exempting from tax. Yeah. We're just going to have to risk that. Our agents are moving up. Wuttenberg is moving forces as well. 
We're back at war with Austria, so we'll see how they do. The United Kingdom has been quite quiet in this series, which has been really good. It's mostly just been Russian, Prussian, and Austrian military forces we're dealing with. We're still at war with a couple of minor states, like Sweden, Naples, and whatnot. And they haven't been surging armies over. I think they've sort of been landlocked through military uh, access points, which is good for me. Like Kingdom of Naples, I don't think I can get through the Papal States, for example. Okay, so, Davo is in uh, Berlin for now. Napoleon can push into Saxony. I don't know where their other army went. But yeah. We should be able to deal with them swiftly. Yokimira can hold against those Russian forces for now. And Ney can sit back in Paddy. Oh, there it is. Uh, only four units. Okay. I think there was a full sack though somewhere. It doesn't matter. If we can take Saxony. It's going to... Like, they've only got one province. It's going to destroy the other army. Wherever it is. Uh, we can liberate the Kingdom of Saxony in Dresden, which I'm not going to do. Alright, let's push you back to Brandenburg and we'll replenish and repair where we can. But check out this iron wall we've got going from Berlin to Dresden. And nation destroyed. The Kingdom of Saxony is no more. I don't know why they declared war upon me. <laughs> we rolled them. Trade agreement. National debt for a payment. Yeah, I'd accept that with Prussia, because we're at peace with them for now. It'll buy us a couple turns, so we can focus on the Austrians. Oh, we've actually been attacked here. By... Mikhail. A prominent Russian commander. Uh, we might have to send Yokimira to deal with him. Mikhail Kuzlov has taken Innsbruck. Alright, well Yokimura... We'll, we'll probably play that one at the start of the next episode, because he's quite a notable uh, character as well. That'll be quite cool. Yeah. Although he lost the Battle of Austerlitz, um, he fought in the French invasion against Napoleon and allowed him to take an abandoned Moscow. He's still considered uh, one of the greatest Russian generals of all time, Mikhail. So, Napoleon can push down to Prague. We might as well just keep on going against the Austrians here. Prague was actually not too much of a stretch from Saxony. So we've made peace with the Prussians for now. And we've hit Prague. Okay. Uh, do they want peace now, out of curiosity? Not even for trade, okay. I just thought because then we can focus on the Russians for now. But they've taken Innsbruck, which is so far away. I'm really impressed of how aggressive the Russian AI is. Oh, that's understandable. There's probably three full stacks there that are quite close to Prague. Oh, alright. So, it's going to take a little bit of a while to consolidate our position here in Berlin, Dresden. So we might just keep our three full stacks hanging in and around here. We'll move uh, Davul to Dresden. And Yokimira can deal with Mikhail Kuzlov. Kuzov. Kuzov. Kuzlov? Kuzov. I don't know why I said the L. Uh, at the start of the next. We are first fight against the Russians. Uh, Bernadotte is at Hanover, getting more units as well by the day. But... We might need those additional forces from Paris at some point. Because Hanover now is quite well defended. Dealing with the public order and potential rebellion crisis we've got going on there. But everyone else is sort of chilling. We're all good. And Ney still in Paris, as I said. Uh, oh! Gibraltar has fallen to Spanish rebels. The fleet's still hanging in Brittany for now. The British are raiding one of my ports, which is annoying. Actually, we could send a... yeah. We'll get Michel Ney... Oh, I misclicked there. Damn it, it wasted that movement. <laughs> to retake our port, kick the fleet out so we could repair it. Because we're losing a, 
a little bit of trade there. And we're only exposing one unit of cavalry. Just north of Brussels. But this is what we currently occupy so far. We need to retake Innsbruck though as well. Before Mikhail Kusov essentially buries and digs in a bit. But we'll fight this one at the start of the next. We do numerically outnumber them. However, we're on par infantry and cavalry-wise quality. However, he does have artillery. So we might have to close the distance and, and push this one. So, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I've had an absolute blast. What an episode, man. That started off so crazy. Like, that was make or break. We could we could have lost Davout. But we've managed to throw back the Prussians, make peace with them. We're focusing on the Austrians. And now we've got some Russian action in the next episode, episode where Joachim Mirach and Mikhail uh, Kuzov battle out at the start of the next. So stay tuned for episode three coming out shortly. Alright guys, I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members members are available. Use creator code Simpsy Total War on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. <laughs>